The new Clash of Legends are finally out today. It's actually all videos about showing you guys the top three best decks to use after the new Clash Royale Balance Changes update. And we're gonna start with deck number one, which is absolutely insane. Evolution Skeleton somehow didn't get a nerf in Clash Royale, so they absolutely still bust the Club Peach. And of course, Evolution had got a nerf, so I feel like Evolution, while like with the buff, makes its way in the matter. Or makes her way in the back in the matter. Sorry, 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 sorry. Going to the game against Falcon Rory. When I'm seeing we're calling this video. The changes aren't there yet, but I need to record this early. By the way, am I tired? Bro, I'm not, dude. I'm ready to rumble. So, of course, Evolution Valkyrie, mm, it's hard to say, right? Because, like, in case you guys have Knight, of course, you can also use Knight. Like, this deck has, like, 1 million evolutions, right? You can always switch it out as, uh, in case you want it. But, by the way, also, use code more in the shop. It's really helpful. But, yeah. So, I know, in case you're playing Knight Evolution, you can also use Ice Speed Evolution. Also, some are viable, right? But this is, like... I just feel like the Valkyrie evolution with the extra HP can be decent. Maybe not broken, but at least decent. Maybe broken, but at least decent. So we just go for Skeleton State. He's going to use the ability. Pop, 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 pop. And I'm just going to go for the Valkyrie. He has Cannon here, bro. I would never, I would never buy anything in this game, bro. I am a complete free-to-play player. I would never spend my money in this stupid game. It's not stupid. It's a, it's a fun game. It's honestly... It's a fun game. It, it was it was more fun at one point, but it's like, honestly, I still like it. I still like to play it sometimes here and there. I love recording videos. I love reading comments, especially the one we one guy was asking me for one we one. One day we will do that, sir. One day we will do that. So I'm just going for my log there. Skeletons. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to talk about the skeletons, dude. I don't want to talk about skeletons, dude. By the way, what the heck is our opponent playing? G Skelly, weird stuff. So, of course, Evolution Quaker also would be really good. But, okay, I'm just gonna go for my Earthquake there. Okay, now I'm just gonna go for my Lock here. Really good Lock, waiting as long as I can. And that's a really, really good defense. So, Ice Bird. Skeletons. <gasps> oh my goodness! You almost clapped my peach, dude. That was close. That was really, really close. So, hmm. Am I just gonna go now for Hogwai and just gonna go Evolution and like normal Cracker Man? If, imagine I would have had an Evolution Cracker. I'm just gonna go normal Cracker because I'm just gonna go Barbs. Yes, Evolution Barbs. So we're gonna be able to get one shot here. So Lock is coming down. Man, this deck, dude. Okay, so I need to be careful about the Evolution Valkyrie because in some scenarios, <laughs> In some unlucky scenarios, the, like the G Skelly somehow, somehow, some way gets to tower. And if that happens, if the G Skelly bomb gets on tower, I'm gonna lose. So, um, I'm just gonna go for my Valk there. Lock. Okay. I'm just gonna go for this. This, 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 this. Really good defense, really good lock. Good one. Good one. Okay, I'm happy. That was actually really, really good. So I might just go in for... I'm just going to go for Hawk right here because he has to play something for off the G-Skelly, which is most likely going to be Barbarians, right? So Barbarians are out. I don't get a shot, but the Barbarians are basically wasted. No counter push potential from the Barbarians. Or no push potential in general. So I'm just going to go for my Valkyrie there. Um... Honestly, I'm just going to go for my Hawk right here. He goes in Snowball like this, which he can. I'm just gonna go for my lock in, but look at the damage now. Look at the damage now. Look at the defense. Look at the damage. This is awesome. Hawkwire that gets another shot. And now we know it's looking really, really nice. So I think I might just go in for my Hawkwire that uh, for my Valk there. And I'm just gonna go for my Hawkwire. I know he's gonna he's gonna be have problems, right? I can just go for my lock there, maybe. Is the Valkyrie gonna do something? I mean the Valkyrie's gonna do an okay job, which means we do get a shot. Okay, I'm just gonna go evolution skulls because I know he needs to go. For snowball there, which means we can easily get an EQ. I can just go for my lock there. Really good defense. Oh, dude, Martin Royale! Man, this guy which is sitting here, he can't clash, dude. He's not finished. So it doesn't matter what he does, it's over. GG's well played. We're going into deck number two. Deck number two is a risky call, but I personally feel like this deck might be back. Pega gets a buff. Also, the Magic Archer gets a buff, which is really surprising in my opinion. Also, the Zap gets soon evolution. Also, Golden gets a buff. So in case you guys want to use a Golden, you can use it instead of the Royal Ghost. And also, in case you have like a ton of money, buy the Zap evolution. It works really great in this deck, but Pega Bridge Fan might have a comeback in the Clash Royale matter. I feel like the worst thing or like the most like the hardest thing uh, i think it's better to say that the hardest thing in packer bridge trap is to choose the right evolution and i personally think like it's like bad uh, archers but all i would say maybe when like this evolution is out of course use this evolution and maybe sub an ewis again for bats 
So this is kind of like the, or like the band, better to say, on the Golden Knights. So it's kind of like, you have a ton of different variations. No way we're playing a Pack and Murder matchup, dude. This can't be true, dude. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my Packer there. That's a really good Packer. <laughs> so Packer, Witch, Band, Murder matchup. Okay, so that's interesting. Hmm. What is this guy gonna cook? He's gonna, oh, okay. Oh, also might be normal Bridge Bam. Okay, it's normal Bridge Bam. So, Gold Knight, it takes now way less time for the Gold Knight overall to, um, yeah, to get, like, the dash, which, which is, like, absolutely incredible. I think, like, 9 seconds instead of, like, 12 or something. But, yeah, in case you guys want to use it, you can use it, but they're, like, different, different possibilities, as you guys can see here. So, this is a really good plan. I'm just gonna go Valorant there, because I know he still has to defend this. Ghost gets invincible. Let's go. He goes in this. But this won't be enough, and we do get the Battle Ram on the tower, let's go, and I would be absolutely amazing, uh, amazed when Packer gets back in the meta. I love Packer, dude. I love Packer, you cannot hate this card. It's like, it sucks so badly, it sucks so badly, but now, with the extra range, could be big. Could. Be. Big. So I'm just gonna go for my Zap there. Just to make sure I'm not gonna take as much damage as I want, but I also didn't want to commit, of course, my, um, Packer in the scenario. So I'm just gonna go for my Ghost here. Really bad banner because he still has to defend his ghost now. I think heal spirit won't be enough. He's trying it though. What the heck is he going? I'm just gonna go pack at this time. So he got arrows, so like my evolution bats they don't really do anything as much. But evolution archers might be do uh, might be able to do something now. So hmm, is it gonna be the play to go like just for bats there? I don't really think that's bad. <laughs> funny. Um, okay, to be fair, not the funniest thing ever. But Archer's there. What is he gonna do now? Just gonna go zap here, please, in time. Let's go. We do get it on tower, which is the most important thing. But he also will get an amazing ghost now, in case he wants to play. No, no ghost coming down here. What are you doing, Magic Archer? Here to clean up everything. Um, okay. I'm just gonna go for my archers there. Really good archers. Um, okay, so. I think I'm just gonna go Battle Ram. He's most likely designed to go in for us Barbs. Yeah, okay. I don't really want to poison. Just go Magic Archer. Magic Archer gets a ton of volume. No big spell in hand for him. So, easy, easy cleanup. I think using my bad stat is the right decision. Hmm. Please survive. Please. Oh, let's go. Okay, this is a free poison. I think I'm just gonna take even poison. I'm not gonna kill the Archer Queen. I think that's fine. Because he's just to commit something. Okay. I'm just gonna go for my zap there. What the heck is he cooking, dude? What the heck is this guy cooking? He's cooking actually really, really interesting. Um, Battle Ram. What? Okay, this hurts. We need to do one more game. I like this game doesn't count. Okay, so for this next version, I like. I mean, I'm gonna play the same thing again as I said, but I'm trying to go on that version out now. Um, I think like when like the evolution comes out, of course, it's really more helpful. As I said, like Gold Knight, I don't know. I just feel like Gold Knight Cooney is not really working that well in the matter. But I think like with the Bridge Bam comeback, it might be really good. Mm. But yeah, let's find out. I'm just gonna go Gold Knight. There. This guy plays like a really aggressive um, minor cycle deck. Okay. Okay, I might just go pack on the back there. So if this guy is really good, this might be a tough matchup. But like, yes, I'll play potential, right? Yes, I'll play potential, especially with the random Golden Knight. <laughs> okay. Using my ability there. I think I'm just gonna go pack on the back, dude. I'm just gonna go pack on the back. No, I'm just gonna go pack on like this. Pack as good. Uh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 please no, please no double connection. Balanced! Let's get it balanced! <laughs> balanced! This is balanced. <laughs> if people ask you what is balanced, I'm not sure this is balanced. Okay, he has to go poison there. Okay, good zap though. Oh, imagine he had no evil skull. It would have been so much damage. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, I mean, to be fair, like, there are saver calls. Most likely minor poison is the saver call than uh, pack a bridge spam. But I feel like it's kind of boring to always show the same deck, right? So I want, I want to bring up a deck which is viable in the next help of uh, in the next mana in Clash Royale, and which you can play, which you can have fun with. But of course, like in case you're like a really good minor poison player, keep playing minor poison. Minor poison will still be really, really strong. So just let you know, guys. But I pack a bridge spam. I, I just feel like a ton of people have a ton of love in their heart for pack a bridge spam, so I kind of really wanted to showcase it. And I, I, I think it's gonna be strong after changes. Don't get me wrong, I think it's gonna be strong after change. The question is how strong it will really be at the end of the season and which variation. So let's go bats there. Okay, so bats are gonna come down, clean up everything. Um hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna 
Maybe for my magic archer jam. Golden Knight. Ability. Good ability. I'm just gonna go archer stay to snipe everything. Zap. Yeah, it was an okay defense though, but it will be hard to break through with this stuff. Spats. Goes in for another goes in poison. Yeah, this will be too bro. This Bro! Okay, just pay his stack. I'm gonna be wrong. Just pay minor poison, dude. If it's that bastard, okay. Okay, guys, just play Minor Poison. Just play Minor Poison. I feel like Minor Poison is because I was, like, trying to have some fun. I was, like, trying to showcase you the best packer deck. This the packer deck will be amazing after it changes. But, yeah. I guess, overall, maybe Minor Poison is more sold. I wanted to give it a try. I feel like it can work um, in Clash Royale. But if you want to have the safe choice, if you want to know, like, which deck is playing. This is, of course, like, in my opinion, the by far weakest deck of the top three decks. But now, we're going into deck number three which will be a cracker especially after the buff of few cards in the stack okay guys i lied it's just one big buff with the monk i feel like monk community is a bit underweighted in kun mana with all the little princes but little prince also gets a small nerf so i feel like okay maybe it just gives us an opportunity to use different champs again especially with the monk buff a bit more hp a bit more tanky for five elixir might be good especially since evolution scans fit really well in warrior giant so i think this deck might be good Oh no, it will be good. 1% in the new Clash will matter. The good thing is about this Royal Giant deck, you have a ton of different possibilities. You could use the um, Arch Queen instead of the Monk, or you could also use like Evolution Bats or Evolution Skeletons, but I personally feel like, like Evolution Skeletons are so busted. This way I have also the Eastwood in there to counter Evolution Skeletons, but yeah, a ton of different, different, different possibilities for this deck. And this deck, of course, it's like one of the most solid decks. Also, Royal Giant kind of made a comeback this season in different variations, so I just feel like with the less of Little Prince, it might be even better. So I'm just going for a Monk there. What is what is he gonna cook there? What is he gonna cook? Hmm. Let's go Eastbird there. Hmm. I might just use my ability there. Really good ability. Really good ability. Okay. What the heck, dude? What are you cooking? Bro, never let him cook again. He got him at the bridge for no reason. Okay, monk. Yeah, man, this counter bush will be huge, dude. Come on, give me a counter bush. Okay. Mm. The monk, like, bro, what, what is he gonna? Okay. To be fair, like the Ev the evil barbs are gonna do an absolutely amazing job against me. Man, this evil barbs, bro, he played like dog water. He played like shit, you bro. Like that he's still alive is absolutely game, bro. This, 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 this shouldn't, this shouldn't, bro. What was this e golem? Oh, I'm gonna go brain dead. I'm losing my brain. Okay, so okay, relax. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. So I'm kind of scared of the ski, uh, skeleton king. And this tough matchup, of course, Monk is the best card. Not gonna lie, but this how it is. It is how it is. It is how it is. Okay. Lock. Good defense though. Yeah, it's fine. Could be worse, could be better. Okay, what is he gonna do now? This is a really good eSport, dude. Really good eSport. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Lock. Bro, the way you giant, bro. Great barbarians. And we're gonna give the world plate. World plate. That was well played, dude. Wow. 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 Okay. Wow. Wow in the in, in the comments. Wow. Okay, lock. Please, 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 please. Uh, okay, GG's. 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 Stop. 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 GG's, guys. This deck, it's absolutely amazing. Even the monk didn't really do too much in this deck. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Early GG. Early GG. <laughs> no, but yeah, these are the top three best decks in my opinion about the Clash Royale update. In case you like don't like Packer Bridge, maybe you guys think it's not really working too well. I personally think the meta will shift a bit with the, uh, all of the nerfs and buffs. Use minor poisons that it's always broken, but I don't want to show this deck again. So make sure to subscribe, make sure you use code more in the shop, and I'm going to be out. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Goodbye. Oh,